Modern Days of Jungle zijn benamingen voor het nieuwste genre in elektronische dansmuziek. De meeste platen worden gemaakt in Londen. Hectische drumpatronen en subsonische baslijnen zijn de belangrijkste ingrediënten van drum and bass. Terwijl grote artiesten als Björk, Jamiroquai en Therapy zich door deze ritmes laten beïnvloeden, verblijven de makers van drum and bass meestal buiten de schijnwerpers. Zo komen de jonge twintigers achter de namen Fotek en Source Direct slechts buiten als ze zich verplaatsen per BMW of Ferrari. En zit Square Pusher, die met het album Feed Me Weird Things wekenlang hoog in de moordlijst stond, het liefst de hele dag in zijn studio. Studio? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. This is uh, the square pusher central. Yeah. yeah. You work here all the time? Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's uh, it's my full-time uh, residential studio. Okay. So I just like basically I'll, I'll run you from that again, and I'll show you what happens. It's that you know it's all it all breaks down into separate layers. Basically. Drums, all the same. Play, play the guitar part. Clavin it part, which is like one of one. And then, sort of, like a, like a sort of 101 kind of sound on top. So, do you see how it, it kind of, it kind of just all sort of sits in layers, basically. It's quite good having it on 8 track. It's really good for mixing tracks down because you can bring stuff in and out really easily. You know, so forth. So that's how it works. And also, you can do this. <laughs> it's just the pitch, pitch control. It's really good, it's really handy because you can speed tracks up or down. But I generally don't speed them up because they're always too fast anyway. <laughs> you know, this is just when I was a kid. I used to make up a, a drum machine program on my, on my computer. And when I first got my bass, I'd like play bass lines along to like a, a drum machine, which I'd like, you know, you, just, you know, I used to like know computer inside out. You know, like I know this stuff, I suppose, and it's like, I could make a drum machine program on the computer, you know, this like really cheesy little beats and stuff like that, you know, it's really funny. And uh, and then like, you know, play bass lines along to them and uh, record them and stuff. And I've got like, got loads of stuff from then, you know, and that's like 1980, 1985, 1986. No, 1986. But now you work differently? Well, yeah, because, uh, you know, I work nowadays, it's, well, nowadays it's, it's gone back to the same thing, basically. I'm playing along with bass lines along with electronic music, you know, it's, it's a, like about 400 times more advanced, but like it's the same idea. So it's quite cool in a way. But like, if, yeah, when I, you know, even when I got this, I got this thing, this, started getting all this What's stuff. What's that? Uh, SH-101. That's another mild, uh, it's another kind of acid house mainstay keyboard. But it's like, it's a lot more versatile in terms of the sounds and stuff. But. This is like the first thing I got on it. I saw it, all these sliders on it and I thought, oh yeah, this fits into my kind of, you know, fits into some kind of image with all these like buttons and stuff, you know, you give it all that and give it some, and so I got the man to plug it in for me. I was like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, wow, you know, it's the machine, you know, this is like it. <laughs> it's like, cool. Oh, 